Said you hear about Happy? Happy Pendleton? The same. Seems that due to these troubled times we've been having, Happy's been having a harder and harder time making a living stealing the same sorts of things he's used to stealing. There used to be all that money rolling around back in 28, 29. So where'd it go? Happy was wondering the exact same thing. All of a sudden it occurred to him. Art. Art. Do I know him? Not a him, a what? You know, paintings, sculptures. Oh. Paste. They sure are pretty, though. So Happy figures if all this money went into art, it's gotta be some way that he could get it back out. Yeah, but he's a B and E man. So he asks around, and he finds a guy, real square John from down at that college in Foggy Bottom. This guy knows about art, a lot. One thing he doesn't know about, B and E. Which is where Happy comes in. That stands to the reason. Art guy tells Happy he knows about a place that's just full of artwork. Some big fancy house up at the end of Wisconsin Avenue. Happy tells him he can get him inside. It's a match made in heaven. Until they get to the actual heist portion of the adventure. Turns out Art Guy, not only does he not know about how to get into a place, he doesn't know how to keep himself quiet once he's inside. So Happy starts getting not so happy, and thinking maybe he should have spent a little more time with Art Guy before the caper. Explaining those things you think no one would need to have explained to him. What, you know the story already? Guy can't help but hear a thing or two once in a while. So, after Happy gets them in, nice and easy by the way. Happy is awfully good. It is eventually made clear to Art Guy that quiet is the order of the day and they proceed to sneak through this empty house. Happy's eyes are as big as dinner plates as they pass by goblets and silverware and rooms that must surely be filled with diamonds until they find themselves in this hallway and the walls are covered in art. Big, beautiful paintings. Any one of which Happy is convinced are worth a small fortune. Especially the big ones in their golden frames. But our guy keeps saying, not that one, not that one, until finally he stops in front of this little tiny picture, no bigger than an arrest warrant. It's just a picture of some fruit. What kind of fruit? Mostly peaches. But Art Guy says, that's the valuable one. So now Happy's thinking he's really gotten hooked up with a nut job. But he figures might as well make the best of it. At least it's easy to carry. So he's about to lift the goods when the lights snap on. They got electric lights? Everything's top drawer in this joint. Happy and Art Guy turn around to find a shotgun pointed at them. And at the other end of this shotgun is the owner of the house. Finger on the trigger. I don't like this part of the story. So what do you think Art Guy does? He starts talking. To Happy? No, to the owner of the home. Who also happens to be the owner of the painting. Art guy rats out Happy Pendleton? No, he starts telling this tale about how he and Happy are just a couple of poor art students. And all they ever wanted in life, the one thing that's going to make them feel fulfilled, is to take one look at this little tiny picture of fruit. This picture is that good? It's a masterpiece, what do you think? So Happy, what else can he do? Start singing along like a parrot, talking oils and pastels and all that starving artist malarkey. By the time Art Guy and Happy are done with their sob story, the owner of the house has not only not shot them, he's fed them some dinner. And he's also agreed to pay for sending these two crooks to art school. I hear Happy's getting pretty good, too. I saw a picture he did of a naked lady. Happy made a painting of a naked lady. Not only that, he got to do it with a live model. You mean without any... As always, gentlemen, a pleasure. Until next time. Mm -hmm.